Hey guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical. Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about concealed carry with gym clothes. Okay, it's a, this is a bit of a tactical brief and then also a bit of a, a little bit of a training demonstration. I will show you guys a little bit of my training here. And you guys have probably heard the term train as you fight. So what we've got going on here is really just baseline, bottom of the line gym clothes, okay? So we've got gym pants on, all right? This is a track suit. There's no belt, nothing like that. And the, the bone tactical baller jersey, really just a, a very bare minimum of what we've got going here. From here, I have the ability to carry a full-size firearm because I've got the Traveler's Money Belt on. This is the newest Traveler's Money Belt here. And what that allows me to basically do is on the webbing, okay? It says Bone Tactical here, pretty cool on the webbing. I don't know if you guys have, have seen that or not, but there you go. Bone tactical right there on the webbing. And what this Traveler's Money Belt allows you to do, other than have something that'll pass pat downs and really a, a low profile way to keep a stash, is it the heavy duty nylon webbing also allows you to just keep that full size holster Okay, I can run and gun, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I can jump around and run around and still have the ability to have that holster on there, but really carry concealed, like we said, and have uh, only gym clothes, just down to a t-shirt and gym shorts would be exactly the same, and, and, and have concealed, have uh, full access to a concealed firearm in a, in a very tight unit, and really not even have to think about it. Wake up in the morning, throw on my my traveler's money belt with my holster okay a couple other obvious accessories are the new black bone occlusion bracelet that we've got now we've got a, a black version available of the bone occlusion bracelet 100 percent kevlar cord and uh and then just any kind of the of the neck knife system that you might want to wear if you want to wear a neck knife all right we've got the full lineup of neck knives that's what i would recommend with gym clothes because you got to think you probably won't have a belt on. So, like we talked about, we'll do a little bit of training, a little bit of shooting here, guys. And from there, we'll talk a little bit more about the products that we've got. You guys see that we've got a few more products here, but I'm gonna show you guys how the Traveler's Money Belt functions with a holster and how it works for EDC. This system here. Okay, so go ahead and be sure to make sure you're checking this out. Right, guys just a little bit of fun training there got lucky and got all rounds on target talk a little bit about the elephant in the room the plate carrier I am repping the plate carrier all right and I will talk a little bit about it it's heavy it's big but it works 
All right, there's a few things I don't like about it and a few things I do. It's very sturdy, it's well built, it's got good material. Let me go ahead and, and say first that I did mention in the video, train as you fight, okay? And uh, just so you guys, or you internet warriors out there saying, oh, so, or uh, you're gonna, you're gonna be wearing a plate carrier with gym clothes. No, I did that mostly in this case so that you guys could have some GoPro footage, see how that turns out. First person GoPro footage and because of range safety. But um, what I am gonna do is say that if you had a plate carrier like this set up and ready to throw on, it would be something you could run to your vehicle and throw on. But, uh, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to talk about the plate carrier because of my relationship with LA Police Gear. And I told them, a man of my word, that I would review the plate carrier. I also told them that it would give an honest review. So, I just, I'm setting it up. I've got it a little tight probably, but it's got this front tab on here and then another tab that actually holds the plates and then this cummerbund system is how it works. One thing that I, I do, everything so far that I've showed I like. These aren't too bulky, so you can still shoulder a rifle. Everything's pretty good. It's very large, so it, I'm a very big guy. There's Most of you guys are not gonna need a plate carrier this big, but it's not too bulky that smaller people can't also wear it, all right? So it's really great in a lot of ways. The one thing I really don't like about it is these buckles right here are so far to the back that they're almost impossible for someone to buckle themselves, all right? So it's almost impossible to put this plate carrier on yourself. I can't hold this buckle and buckle this buckle, so I have to do this. I have to kind of maneuver around and try and get it in there, or I just have to have somebody that's with me buckle it for me. So that's a, that's a, big, uh, that's a big issue. And, uh, and a big flaw, it's not something that's hard to fix. If I'm gonna be using this plate carrier, I'll just have to cut this and sew it to the other side, which, so it's not a big deal. Anybody that can sew can do that. It is, a, it is something that was overlooked by LA Police Gear in this case when they made this, this plate carrier and it is, it is a serious issue for me. Not a hard fix, but the rest, it's a good price plate carrier, good heavy duty, very thick heavy duty material comes in a wide variety of colors. And that's kind of, that's the gist of it. I will give a close out here. Finally talking about the new low vis traveler's money belt. No identification here on the front. V top grain, handmade, top grain leather, plastic zipper here. Very quick to open and close. YKK brand zipper, the best they make. And almost no metal on it. There's a little bit of a, of a zinc alloy here, but it's not, it won't set off a metal detector in the, in, the, in the zipper itself. Other than that, it's just everything's top of the line. Marine grade, so it's never gonna, it doesn't rust. It's heavy duty polymer plastic. So the webbing is where the only place that it says bone tactical, very low profile. It's a cool accessory. And you guys are, okay, we talked about, we've got this black Kevlar. The black Kevlar in the bracelet, guys, is really something that's hard to, it's difficult to find true black Kevlar because it, when you dye Kevlar, if you don't, if you, if you just try and dye Kevlar, after the fact, it's, it degrades the material of the Kevlar and it's not strong anymore. We don't do that. So this is actually full, 100% full strength Kevlar. If you see somebody else using black Kevlar, it's very likely, unless it was extrusion dyed with each fiber and then sewn together, which is what we do, then you degrade the actual strength of the Kevlar, okay? So that's something that's worth looking into. We're here, there's mahogany trees all over the place. When one falls, we, we take out the mahogany and we make these awesome, awesome, little beads out of the mahogany and then the other only other component on this kevlar mahogany and solid stainless steel okay so just top of the line uh you guys know you guys that are in the know 
know what it can be used for. Okay, here we go. You guys are in the know. Know what it can be used for, all right? Then other than that, it's just a bracelet. Can be worn anywhere, legal to carry anywhere in the world. And uh, that's what we're working with here. Holster from Bravo Concealment. Standard Glock pistol, just some night sights I got from Zahal.org. Uh, he's got a great relationship with Meprolite, and Meprolite makes, in my opinion, the best night sights. I like Meprolite. I'm a Meprolite guy. I like a lot of Israeli stuff. You guys know I, I've been over there, and, and, and I'm a big supporter of, of Israel uh, and their position in the Middle East. That being said, I wore a, a track suit I got in Italy just to kind of do something a little extra while. My last, uh, last time I was over there in Napoli, um, Naples, Italy, just a, it's kind of, Naples is kind of a world apart for you guys that don't do a lot of traveling. Naples by it other Italians isn't really even considered Italy. It's kind of like the, the barbarian side of, of Italy. And then you've got the rest of Italy that's very uh, proper and fine. So I, I, I like, I like Naples. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a nice respite. It's kind of like a pirate town, if you will. Um, but that's, uh, that's what I'm going to close out with. I appreciate you guys tuning in, checking out the video, questions, comments below. If you want to see more shooting and training and stuff like this, let me know. I'll, I'll show you the rundown of the training is use the stuff you have. Don't be afraid to use your truck. Don't be afraid to use your vehicle. If you're afraid to use your vehicle, then you shouldn't be carrying a gun because if you can't shoot around your truck, then you shouldn't, you can't, you shouldn't be able to shoot around people, obviously, right? In a, in a real self-defense situation, get moving, get running and gunning. If you're considering a plate carrier, wear the plate carrier to the range, run around and shoot, get your blood pumping. Okay. Do some mag changes, all that cool stuff. Uh, hopefully these videos, this footage of the GoPro came out pretty cool, but I'm just trying to do all this for you guys. So that's why I'm asking for your feedback. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bone out.